Hello, I'm Misty Winkler and I have a lot of laundry in the background because I spent an hour cleaning the kitchen today and I decided to bring you along. Let's tackle the kitchen today, a real life kitchen where everyone in the family is in and out making food, eating food, leaving dirty dishes, leaving all kinds of things really. Let's just take care of it together, shall we? So here is my kitchen today. I walked in and went, oh, are you kidding me? We're having people over for dinner tonight and, and I didn't clean the kitchen yesterday and here we are. So let's get busy. I really wish I could work this quickly, <laughs> but I went around and took care of all the things that were easy to take care of first. And that's a great first step because you see a lot of progress right away. So instead of like working completely from one end to the other, I started by going around and just putting the things away that could be put away. Then we can start cleaning. So I pulled out my bin of rags there. You can see, you know, I've been married for 20 years. So we have a lot of old shirts, old towels. And I actually love having cleaning cloths that are just the right size for my hand and for small projects and having lots of them. So I can just toss them right in the hamper as soon as they get gunky. <laughs> and so I, clean with chemicals. I don't really care. So uh, I have all purpose cleaner. It smells like lemon. For a while I tried like a vinegar recipe sort of thing and I didn't really want to have a recipe before I got started cleaning. I just wanted to get started cleaning really quickly. And my husband does not like it when the house smells like vinegar. Go figure. I love the smell of lemon. So I use all purpose lemon cleaner and just Put a little in a plastic dish and get my rags and it's a quick and simple way to uh, just get started. So normally I would wash the dishes as like the first thing to do, but this time I just really wanted to be sure that the counters and the gunk <laughs> got addressed uh, because that was where the worst bit of it was. And honestly, the dishes were not that bad. They could have waited. So I put the dishes off. I worked around the dishes and just wiped, cleared all the surfaces, then wiped all the surfaces down with all-purpose cleaner. Um, it seems like I really should have been able to move this fast actually, but this is sped up times eight. And so my hour long cleaning session became a 10 minute video. <laughs> But it was also a one hour cleaning session because I even wiped down those appliances while I was at it. Since I had all the rags out, I had the cleaner there, I just went to town and did all the things. So uh, I could have been done sooner, but I really wanted to get this kitchen to a point where I could maintain it in a 10 minute morning and evening routine and so that meant wiping things down a bit more, although the stove was definitely an area that needed some more attention. Probably at some point, I'm gonna have to spend an hour just scrubbing that stove and the bits around it. But for now, I spent about seven to 10 minutes there scrubbing the stove, just the top, getting the gunk off, making it at least decently presentable and not embarrassing. And one of the things that I like to do is to wipe things down with the wet cloth with my all-purpose cleaner and then have another rag on hand and wipe it down with a dry rag. And so that just really helps get the gunk all off quickly. And because the rags are small, it really isn't that much extra laundry. And then um, I'm also incentivized to just use as many rags as I need because I don't fold these. They're, they are literally just cut up pieces of cloth. And so when they come out of the dryer, they just go straight into that bucket. Now at this point, I moved my appliances over and uncovered a lot of crumbs. 
So I went and I just grabbed my hand vac. It's a Makita power tool vacuum, cordless, and uh, I vacuumed the counter, actually. You couldn't quite see where it was there, but there were so many, so much flour, actually, so many crumbs um, that I knew that the fastest way to deal with that was just to grab the hand vac and vacuum the counter. Now, I actually do have time to get to the dishes, so I got started there. The dishwasher was full and clean, so I brought my dish unloader helper over and she unloaded it while I scrubbed out yesterday's dinner pot where I had uh, burned some ground beef on the bottom of that pan. So it took a bit, but I just went straight at it with the, the SOS pad right away because I knew that's what it was gonna take. So it wasn't really all that bad. And then I used that same SOS pad to wipe out the sink, which had some gunk. Then the dishwasher is free, so I can just stick those things in and wipe down the sink. And that really wasn't so bad, especially when you speed it up times eight. I really wanted to be done at this point, but after wiping out the sink, I realized, you know, no, you know what? We're having people over for dinner. I actually need to clean the floor also. So after finishing the dishes and wiping out the sink, I took that Makita vacuum again, I, there's a floor attachment, and vacuumed the floor. Now, I do have a child assigned to the floor. So three times a day, supposedly, this floor is swept or vacuumed, but sometimes it just needs adult attention. Uh, so that's what I did. Maybe I should have my kids watch the video of what vacuuming the floor actually looks like. Um, but it is a quick work. I really like vacuuming rather than sweeping myself because the crumbs that go up are just gone and taken care of. I'm not pushing dirt around. And then that same all-purpose cleaner, I just put on my washable mop heads and um, mopped the floor as well. And some of the spots needed a little personal attention. Uh, so that happened as well. You know, the kitchen sees a lot of use. So it's not surprising that we have to spend a lot of time and attention keeping it functional, keeping it clean, taking care of that space that really does serve us so often and so well. Now, are you ready for those after pictures? Oh yeah, look at that. Sometimes we just need to take a moment and actually notice the work that we did do, that it resulted in a clean space. And now here we are, ready to have people over for dinner.